Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another vegan dish for you all. And what I'm going to be using is um, the Guardian... Um, ground beef it's not beef it's plant-based and they call it this is it right here i'll just go ahead and show y'all and i'm not on my camera today i am on the iphone so if i'm looking here or there it's like yeah but this is it i'm gonna be using this i'm gonna be using brown rice i'm going to be using them now my beans is in a can uh black beans okay Cilantro salsa. Rotel. Okay. And of course my um, vegan cheese. And this is going to be like a burrito casserole. It's also going to be with some... Um, I don't have any vegan sour cream, but the kids is not vegan yet. So I won't be having any sour cream. And, um, but they're going to have sour cream, but it's going to be topped off with sour cream. And of course, yes, I happen to be out of my guac, I mean, my avocados, guacamole. And I, I ate it all up. Yeah. And I don't feel like going to the store to get any more. So it is what it is, but they're going to do what it, sour cream or whatever. And however, it's going to be placed in a pan and this is the first time making it. I'm just trying to show y'all some different vegan dishes. Now, Terrell want his with burrito uh, in a burrito style and Tina wants hers like mine in a pan, like the casserole pan or whatever, because I'm going to lay on, layer it, you know what I mean? And I'm going to do it like that. And, um, but I'm not going to eat any of these because I am a true plant-based person. So these are flour. Yeah. And so I forgot to, at Whole Foods where I was showing you guys in the other video where um, they had the cassava wraps and they had the brown flour, I mean, brown rice flour tortillas and so i mean to go back and get them actually i need to go grocery shopping because i have other dishes that i'm going to make but i'm not going to tell you until i come on here and say hey i got another vegan dish for you so yeah so i'm going to be boiling my rice first in the pot i'm sorry y'all this ain't the tripod it's not sitting up like it want my tripod is upstairs for the phone of course i could have used that but eh, i don't wanna so i'm gonna use this okay so yes we're gonna get this started and like I said, I got my rice in here. I'm going to add my water. And I'm going to open up my beans. And y'all ain't got to watch me do all of that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not nothing serious. But when I get ready to place this all together, I promise I will show you guys the ingredients. Stay tuned. This don't have to be seasoned. It smells good. It's already seasoning. But, of course, it's going to be, you know. We, we trying, y'all. We trying over here. Okay, so I added the Rotel uh tomatoes to the meat uh i'm sorry the plant base let me not call it meat i tasted a little bit y'all it's good now i realize that i still want to cook my vegan meals whole whole foods i really don't want to get into the uh processed uh vegan uh food either but i'm just doing this because of the simple fact the kids want some meat and they want to try it i guess they want something that tastes like meat should i say with burritos i know black beans and rice itself is good in a burrito you know with the vegan sour cream and guacamole and vegan cheese and all that good stuff you know and uh so i'm trying to hold this at the same time and do this and now it's a little bit dry for me so what tina hand me that cilantro i'm gonna put a little cilantro in it yes i know this is gonna be real tomato-ish okay that's enough It's gonna be real tomato-ish. Now all of this is going layers. I'm putting this in layers in a Pyrex uh, pan that I have. And we're gonna see how this turn out. I hope it's good, you all. Like I said, first time. So my rice is plain. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little Italian seasoning in it. Uh, hold on. 
Yeah, a little too slow for Reba. Okay. Then I'm gonna add a little sea salt. Cause you know you don't want your rice to be all, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Y'all, I wish I would have grabbed those flax seeds that I was gonna grab because that was gonna be the uh, egg replacement. And I wouldn't mind putting an egg over in here. Well, flax seeds, like, like an egg. Just to hold it together. And especially I thought about that meat too. To hold that meat together or whatever. And I stirred it around. And I don't know, something in my spirit telling me to just go ahead and put a little bit more. Uh-huh. My spirit. Uh-uh. And then a little bit more because I didn't whip it all at the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead, if I got it mixed good, and I'll place it over in my Pyrex glass pan that's been so faithful to me over the years. Oh, I think the kids was little. Yeah. Y'all remember this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I hope this, this work, y'all. I hope this is my first time doing I hope I ain't overloaded with too much rice. Either way, we gonna eat it, so. I'm just... So I'm gonna layer it with some vegan cheese. I don't want to be too much. Why? Because Why? this ain't no mac and cheese, and plus I want to- Don't be scared, girl. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm doing it as, you know. Don't be scared. I'm gonna go ahead and, let me go ahead and get creative and put some of this meats in here. Loose meats. Taco meats. As I figure the other half, I'm gonna. Um, boy, I should have had a big old Wilma spoon. Uh, it's exciting to cook like this, really is. I don't wanna do it, I just wanted some meat up under or over that cheese like that. Okay. And now, I'm just in here playing with it. Just playing with it, just playing with it. We're gonna put the black beans in. I think the black beans should have been over the top of the rice, but that's okay. Like I said, it's my first time doing this and I'm just having fun with it. You know what I mean? Just having fun with it. My son wants his in a quesadilla. So, I don't think he wants rice in his quesadilla. He wanted the meat and cheese, right baby? Okay, well then he's gonna uh, have to kind of wait until this, this this gets done because I'm not gonna leave it in there long. This is already ba basically cooked, and I just wanna um, make sure that um, sorry, TT. <laughs> I just wanna make sure that my cheese basically melts because I actually this is my first. I don't know how this cheese gonna melt. I don't know. So when we go to put this in, I'm gonna have to. Scoop his out in the quesadilla. Okay. Oh, you gotta have and then you sprinkle some more cheese on top of that. Of course, of course. <laughs> it wouldn't be no other way, of course. And how I'm, I, I should let me see. Maybe about what? Hmm. Seven to ten minutes. What's it say? Because everything is basically done. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. And so, which one did I open and use already? Mm. One over the top of it. With the vegan cheese. She making a doggone mess. The same ingredients is going inside that quesadilla. So if it's in here, it's basically, I'm going to leave it real soon. Oh, come on, Reba. Oh, you're not gonna do this to me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh. Like, hey, I heard that before. <laughs> like, hey, I, I heard that before. Yeah, I'm gonna say, don't be scared, girl. 
Mm -mm, Cause I'm trying to leave some, you know. All right. And so this is going in the oven. And I say to the cheese milk. Now it's made from chickpea and I hate I can't have no sour cream. Y'all, I'm not gonna do it. But this is the plant-based. And of course, I don't expect it to stay together. But boy, if I had them flax seeds, man, it would have held. Uh-oh, I don't wanna make a mess. I don't wanna make a mess. I don't wanna make a mess. Maybe I should scoop it forward. Scoop it that way. Of course, the meat is gonna fall apart. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Oh Lord, don't tell me this is. Hold up, I gotta do it right. All my stuff falling apart, but I know it's gonna be good. How they say it's going down one way. Ah, like I said, don't judge me, y'all. As you can look at the tray, I mean, the, the pan, uh, they went, everybody want quesadillas and they made, so I made it like this, but I made mine like this. I made a half of one and folded it in half and I put um, the cilantro salsa on mine. 10 inch roll, love it. Y'all love it, what you say? What y'all say? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. It's good. I can't have my, I wish I had some sour cream, you all, but I'm gonna bite into this because I it's just could not resist. Um, right, look, look, I, I just couldn't resist, you know, I just had so, yeah, that's sour cream make it. Don't rub it in there. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, this is good, loose. It's loose, you know, but it still got a lot of flavor in it. Had I, like I said, used a flax seed to take the place of the egg, it would have held it. But my thing is, if I was you all, this is a good combination that was put together, but I would have it much with these, the flour, the tortillas or whatever, or the quesadilla style, so. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't judge me. It's my first time. I'm doing vegan. I'm having fun with it, you all. So, you know, give me some ideas at the bottom of, of another way that I could have made this stick or whatever. If you know, just let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace out. In Jesus' name, be blessed.